time we're going to be looking at trig identities, which appears in the National 5 curriculum, and probably the GCSE curriculum, and a lot of people really hate this, they find it really difficult. So, what I'm going to do, or what I have done here, is set up a little way of doing it that should make it a lot easier. Basically, the two things that you're always looking out for in these questions is, can anything be simplified or factorised? I.e., is there any common factors or brackets that should be multiplied out? That's the first thing. The other thing is, do any of the terms in the expression match anything that can be substituted? And what I've got here is I've actually got all the, I've got tan x is sin x over cos x. We've got sin squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. We've got what sin squared x is, and this is just a rearrangement of this equation. So if you were to get sin squared x on its own, you would have 1 take away cos squared x. And if you had to get cos squared x on its own, it would be 1 take away sin squared x. And what you've got there all together is eight different possible elements that you could see in any of these equations. And I've actually made them up here individually, and on the back is what each one equals. So for cos squared x, I have 1 minus sin squared x on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through some examples. These are the two things you're looking for. You don't necessarily have to do them in that order. You just pick whatever one seems to be relevant in that particular point, and you should get to the answer. So I'm going to start with a relatively easy example here. So it's asking us to prove that. Usually these questions will say prove that or show that. So we'll just go with prove that. So it says prove that tan x cos x equals sin x. So first of all, I'm asked, is there, can anything be simplified or factorised? I don't think so. There isn't any common factors or brackets. Do any of the terms in the expression match anything that can be substituted? Well, tan x is something that can be substituted. And um, there's tan x there. And there's tan x here. And on the other side, tan x is sin x over cos x, which is what I've actually got here. Tan x is sin x over cos x. So this part here is going to be replaced by sin x over cos x. So it's sin x over cos x. Then I've got cos x here equals sin x. So we have found a term that matched anything that could be substituted. I'm now going to go back to this first part. Can anything be simplified or factorised? Well, we've got sin x divided by cos x and then essentially times and by cos x. So what happens here is these two just cancel out. So dividing by cos x then times and by cos x means they just disappear. And then on this side we're just left with sin x and then it just equals sin x. So that's basically that question finished. I'm going to go into another example. So this second example here, we're asked to prove that 1 minus sin squared x over cos squared x equals 1. So we're trying to find if either if anything can be simplified or factorised, or if any of the terms in this expression match anything that can be substituted. So what is catching my eye here is the 1 minus sin squared x, which is actually here. So 1 minus sin squared x is the same as cos squared x. So 1 minus sin squared x here, this part, just becomes cos squared x on the top. So the part we're changing is this part on the top here. So this is just going to become cos squared x. So cos squared x over, on the bottom, also cos squared x. And can anything be simplified? Well, this part can be because cos squared x divided by cos squared x is just going to be 1. And yes, that is equal to 1. So that proves that. I'm going to do another example. This example, we have 5 minus 5 sin squared x equals 5 cos squared x. And what it asked is, is there anything that can be simplified or factorised? i.e. any common factors. Well, there is a common factor of 5 in this side. So this is what I'm going to take out. I'm really just dealing with this side at the moment. 
So there's a common factor of five. So in the bracket, I'll have one take away sin squared x. And then on the right hand side, I've got five cos squared x. And in this part, it says, do any of the terms in the expression match anything that can be substituted? Well, right away, I'm looking at this part here, the 1 minus sin squared x, which is, which is here, 1 minus sin squared x, which is cos squared x. So this part here, 1 minus sin squared x, this part here can be changed to cos squared x. So I'm going to go 5. This whole bit becomes cos squared x. And it equals 5 cos squared x. And there we go. I'm going to do another example. Go. This example is slightly different, but really can use exactly the same rules in order to be able to do. So we've got cos cubed x plus sin squared x cos x equals cos x. So we're asked again to prove that. So I should note that what we've really been doing in these questions is focusing on the left-hand side and ending up so that it's going to be equal to whatever is on the right-hand side. So the first thing we look for, can anything be simplified or factorised, i.e. any common factors, which in this part here, there is a common factor of cos x. I'm going to take that out. Because we have cos, x, cos cubed x here, and we have this here. So I'll just underline that part. We've got that, and we've got that. So that's why we're taking out the cos x. So this part would become cos squared x plus, and then because we're dividing that by cos x, we're just left with sin squared x there. equals cos x, which we've got there. Now, so we've already taken out a common factor. Now what we need to do is decide if any of the terms in the expression match anything that can be substituted. So what I'm looking at here is this part here. Cos squared x plus sin squared x. Because sin, or sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So this part here it doesn't really matter which way around we have them. This part here is equal to 1. So basically, it's cos x times 1 equals cos x. Obviously, cos x times 1 is just cos x. So cos x equals cos x. And that one. We'll do another example. So in our final example here, this is a bit more tricky. We've got, it's quite long, and then we've just got equals one on the other side. So what I'm going to look for is the part that says anything be simplified or factorised or brackets be multiplied out. So on this occasion, we do have brackets that can be multiplied out. So that's what we'll do first of all. So we'll just multiply out these brackets. So multiply these two together we get cos squared x. Then we multiply these two, we get minus sin x cos x. 